Hey guys, Targo Cycle on FPV, and today we're going to actually be working on um, the QX7 right here and loading a fresh new uh, install of the R9M uh, uh, receiver and the R9M, uh, sorry, the R9M module, the R9MM receiver. We're going to do some firmware updates. I'm going to show you how to do that using our website, and then I also got the update cable right here, okay? We're going to kind of zoom through this pretty quickly because uh, we're testing something out new today, and the new test is going to be whether or not just doing the latest file is going to work because FireSky says it should. I'm going to find out now if that's the case or not. Okay, so here goes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our radio ready. Uh, and you know what? Let me just start fresh here because everything's going to be done through OpenTX. So if you don't have OpenTX running or you don't have it on your system, that's fine. You're just going to have to copy the files to your SD card uh, automatically. Okay, uh, I'm going to use OpenTX because a lot of our customers are using that. And so <coughs> hopefully this will help you out. Now, if you haven't installed OpenTX, you're going to do that. Please find one of the videos, <coughs> excuse me, that I have on our uh, YouTube channel youtube.com YouTube forward slash cyclone fpv wait i think i have one of these cool things right here hold on boom that right there yeah hey there you go so we got one of those now i forgot but my head's gone i see i don't know where the hell i went but there you go all right so anyways on youtube oh check this out boom and facebook again my face is gone but that's probably better anyway all right so i'm going to get this out of dfu mode uh i'm going to get this out real quick and unplug this and we're going to start from scratch okay so here we go so first thing you're going to do is hold your uh hold your sub trims in to the center press your power button let go you're gonna to get to your um, you're gonna to get to your screen here, and then go ahead and plug in your USB. And I will go ahead and show you the screen right here. So I've got OpenTX loaded, uh, and there we go right there. Okay. And what we're gonna to want to do first is with this loaded, we want to make sure you're gonna to go to settings, go to radio profiles, make sure you have your QX7 selected. Okay. And then also go to settings and make sure that you know where your structure path is. All right, because this is going to be very important for what I show you next. So in this case, mine is under my downloads uh, QX7 card content. So if I click select folder, I'm going to see that uh, I'm... Uh, hold on a second. Where am I at? I think I had two screens open. Sorry. Let me close all this down. So if I click select folder, it'll open my con card contents right here. Okay. And so that's where I need to be going when I show you what to do next. So the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to go ahead and minimize this and go over to our website at cyclonefpv.com and go ahead and go to our new forum section and under forum you can go to uh, uh, you can click all categories if you want so when you click all categories if you scroll down it's going to be sorted by manufacturer and so you've got you see brain fpv dal rc diatone flight one right here is uh price get right and we're going to be going to the qx7 okay so we're going to click that and then there's going to be a couple topics on qx7 but it's going to be this newest one right here which it says i think i posted a few minutes ago uh, and it's going to be the reply right here, okay, 25 minutes ago, and I did have to edit it because of this section here. Please do not use this software unless you find that your system isn't working. You should have automatically done your updates in your um, OpenTX to get to the newest firmware, and if you have, then you're fine. Because newer fir firmware was released after the date of this one, so I would just stick with it unless you have a problem. Then you can use this file. But for right now, I'm going to cover the first two files listed, which are these two right here. So each one of these are uh, you're going to need to click on and download, so we're going to go ahead and uh, let me close this because I've already downloaded these. I'm going to do it again anyway. So click on it, let it save it to your downloads, and then click on the second one, let it save it to your downloads as well. And then you're, it's going to download pretty quickly. And then you can go to your downloads folder right here. Okay, and uh, let me see if the files, if I can find them. Let me do it just so I date modified. So here they are right here. I'm going to get rid of the rest of these because I don't need these right now. All right, so um, what you want to do now is I would go ahead and just copy these. Um, and we're going to copy them just to get them out of my downloads folder because it's a little congested but you guys do whatever you want on this part uh, i know that my uh my uh, where was it my downloads and i think it was qx7 so i'm going to put them in my qx7 folder right here just paste because it's a cleaner folder then i want to extract them so right click and go on extract to all click extract and then do the same thing for the other one and then right click left click on extract all and extract and then get rid of the zip folders you don't need those anymore so just uh, it doesn't delete them all right, so now you've got your um, you've got your folders here uh, that contain the firmware that we want, okay? And what you're going to want to do in this case is go ahead and just uh, I, I like to just take these folders out and put them in so there's not subfolders of subfolders. So just cut this, go to QX7, go to your card contents, your firmware, and go ahead and paste this in there. All right, that's going to be R9 Mini R9 MM uh, updates, okay? And I'll go back to our QX7 folder. And we are going to go to the R9M, R9M Lite. Again, do it, just cut and go back to QX7, card contents, firmware, and just drop that in there, okay? And the reason we're gonna do that is because we're gonna synchronize. 
Once you've done that part, you can just go ahead and delete these. You don't need them anymore. So just delete those. And now you've got your clean folder again. And in your card contents folder and your firmware, the whole point of this is, is to put these files here, okay? All right, now, once we're done with that, we're gonna go back to our OpenTX, okay? And we are going to go ahead and synchronize our folder with our SD card. So click this button right here. And it's gonna ask, uh, I wanna synchronize the new contents I put in with the folder uh, radio folder, which is D, and I don't care by direction, it's fine. And I'm gonna click okay. And it's gonna bring those files over. And there they are right there, okay? Now, keep in mind that the files that I've zipped and put them on our website are not the LBT Euro files, Euro files or the EU files, and they are also not the um, Flex files. This is just the update for the basic with F-Port. If you want to run F-Port, that's fine, I'm not running it. But uh, the Flex files I'm not doing in this video, okay? And it's just gonna be a different process altogether. But for right now, we're gonna do the basic stuff that everybody seems to need help with, okay? Once this copying is done, which you see right here, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and we're gonna close out of uh, OpenTX, we're gonna log out on here, and we're gonna get started by opening the box, this one, and the firmware cables, and we're gonna knock this out very quickly, and we're gonna test it and see if it actually works. All right, so here it goes. Okay, so it says it's, we can close it now, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down, and I'm gonna eject the Tyrannus, and I'm going to eject the USB drive on it, and I'm gonna pull the plug out, and I'm just gonna scroll down uh, here to exit uh, on my controller, and I'm gonna hit the enter button, and it's OpenTX. gonna boot up. Now let's go ahead and open up our stuff. So we have our antenna, we have our R9MM receiver, and then we have our R9M module. All right, we have the instructions here, which is fine, but for right now, we're just gonna go with this, okay? So first thing is, go ahead and just power it down. All right. Now, I've already taken my plate off. Just go ahead and pop this on the back, okay? And we're gonna run the update on here first. So go ahead and power your radio on. Welcome to work at TX. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Now, once you get the radio on, what you wanna do is go ahead and press your menu button and find a model that you wanna use. I mean, I'm just gonna copy one over. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna select this model and I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna scroll down one and I'm gonna click my enter button and there's it's pasted. I'm gonna hit the enter button again and select it, okay? So now I'm gonna rename this. So uh, to rename it, I'm just gonna hit page and I'm gonna get to my name screen here and I'm just gonna call it uh, R9M Demo. R9, holy cow, it takes forever for me to spell this thing. M, and we'll put a space here. And we'll go to D, D. Sorry, I have to do this because if not, I'll start getting confused as to what I'm working with. I keep everything kind of organized on this side, so I don't really have a choice here. All right, R9M demo. Okay, and then hit exit. Now it's it's labeled. Now, um, the first thing that we know is that we are we are running. Uh, uh, we're not going to be running D16, but for right now, we're just going to go ahead. And let's go back to exit, and we're just going to update our R9M that's internal. Okay, so uh, hold your menu button down. Hit your page button once, go to firmware, find your R9M, R9M light, which is right here. Click it, locate your R9M FCC uh, firmware, which is in the folder, hold it down. And then you wanna flash external module. Do not flash internal module, do not flash anything else, just external, okay? Press it, and then just wait. And as you look on the back, you're gonna see this green light, and it's gonna go red and green and so forth, and that is gonna be it, writing the data. And then you can see the progression bar right here. And while that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and open my R9MM and let's take out the contents here real quick, okay? Now, they do give you uh, these pins to go ahead and put on there. Um, I'm not gonna use those, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna use this cable. And if you do need this cable, this uh, update cable, you can find it on our website. It's a couple bucks, I make them here. Um, and uh, because I didn't have an extra black wire for this one, the brown is gonna be ground. And, uh, and then the yellow will be the S port and the red will be the, the um, the five volt or positive, okay? So uh, on looking at this, and I'll try to zoom in a little bit more. Um, all right, so, and you could, well, actually, I'll just get the manual out. The manual will probably help you a little bit more too. All right, so on the manual, and you're gonna see the pin structure here. Well, that's not the, oh, no, missed the manual. On the manual here, you're gonna see that uh, they're looking at this this way, okay? And I believe it's this way, let me see. Uh, yeah, no, they're looking at it with the antenna up at you, all right? So just keep track that the sticker and the antenna are facing you. And at the bottom, you have inverted S port, you have voltage in, you have ground, you have S port, and then you have S bus out. 
So we're going to be using this S port, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one from the top, okay? So we're going to plug it in accordingly. Your ground wire, if you need to update this, what you're going to do, you're going to put your ground wire into the ground hole right there, and then you're going to find that there's a little lack of room for all three of these to go in the same way, so you're going to put your positive coming straight down, and then you're going to put your S port coming straight down, all right? And this is what it should look like. Pretty much so much of this. This way you don't have to solder anything right off the bat, you don't have to ruin it. But that is what it looks like, all right? And so remember, you've got, if you look at it from the top, you've skipped the first one, second one's S port, third one is ground, fourth one is voltage, and fifth one is uh, left alone as well, okay? Now, our update's done, you can see that on the manual here, so we're gonna hit exit, exit again, and I'm gonna hold it down. I, you can hit the double bars actually, by the way. Uh, I just don't ever do that. Uh, I'm always rushing through it, but okay, so we did our R9M, R9M light. Now we need to do our R9MM, right? And so to do that, you're gonna plug in your three pin update cable, and you're gonna plug it in with the ground facing out to your left, and your, uh, your S port facing out to the right. You're gonna plug that into the three pins right here on the bottom, okay? Make sure to put that in there. Make sure it's in good. All right, now, it's time to go ahead and update this. So you're gonna select your R9M, let me zoom in a little bit. You're gonna select your R9M, uh, R9MM. Uh, They're gonna use the same firmware for this. Hold it down. Oh, whoops, sorry, just click it once. And then find the one that you're using. Now, I'm not using F port. I'm only gonna use the regular standard FCC link. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold this down. And I'm gonna say flash S port. Now again, this time you're running on the S port. So go ahead and just click that. And what you're gonna notice, and hopefully if I move this, it doesn't stop writing. You're gonna see this light. You can faintly see it uh, right there. Okay, but by moving it, I may interrupt a signal, but right there you've got red and green flashing and that means that you're writing data. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sit there. Let's see if I get that on the camera while well, it's, there it goes. All right, so it's gonna write. And from this point, all we're gonna be doing now is we're just gonna be um, uh, testing this out to make sure it works. So I've gotta get a five volt source to it. I wanna make sure I get telemetry on here. And if this goes well, we're done, all right? The biggest problem everybody's having is being able to see these two read each other. So we're gonna see if we can get this done. This takes forever. I got the lawn people out there. I'm sure you can hear them. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up. Might as well clean up at the same time. So guys, if this works, what's good is my old videos showed that I had to load all the files and Price Guy says you don't have to do that. So we're gonna give that a test. They do say that you do have to do it on some uh, applications like some controllers, for example. But they're saying in this case, you, sh you shouldn't have to. And that's all I can go off of is the fact that they said you shouldn't. And I don't know how much strength that has, but if they say you shouldn't, we're gonna give it a shot, okay? Now I have to find a couple pins so I can give my receiver five volts. So bear with me a second. I'm gonna grab a couple wires here and see if I can do that while this thing is almost done. I'm just gonna use an AC to DC converter and pump five volts to it. All I need is two wires, one for ground and one for power. So I'll use these two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna alligator clip the ends of them and I will make the purple positive and I will make the black ground. And okay, so our writing is done. So just click exit, get to the end here. Now I like to just go ahead and power everything off. So just power it off. All right, unplug your data update cable. Just remove that, set it aside. And now I'm gonna go ahead and give my receiver five volts. Uh, whoops, that's not gonna work. I need pins on both sides, sorry. Hold on, let me see what I have that has pins on both sides. I have a gray wire and I have a white wire. Great, so gray will be negative and we'll make white positive. So gray is ground and white is positive. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and turn on the machine to give me five volts. You can't see this part, but just trust me, I'm gonna give it five volts. And there's five, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug in my voltage and hopefully I don't short this out. So I'm gonna plug in my positive there. I'm gonna come, get these wires untwisted. Let me get them to where they're gonna sit still too because they like to fall off the bench. Okay, so, and I'm gonna plug in my ground. Uh, I guess I'll come in from the bottom here, all right? So there we go. And they're very close to touching, but I'm going to put something in between them, like maybe this, and hopefully that will keep them from touching. Okay, oh, or it won't. Uh, let me see what I wanna do here. You know what, maybe I'll just come in. No, I'll leave it like that. Let me just get this to sit nicely, right? Come on, just help me out. Just one time, get in there. 
Now you guys wouldn't be worried about this because you're gonna already have soldered your stuff. But I haven't. All right, good. So therefore, let it sit like that, and this way I can still see the bind button. Okay, uh, I hope you guys can see that. I'll try to move this a little bit. All right, so there we go. We've got our blinking light here, and what you can see, hopefully, is that this is a rapid blinking light. Uh, let me move it over here. Uh, I guess you can't really see it blinking rapidly, but it is. Just take my word for it, okay? And this stupid thing doesn't want to stay. So my only other solution is to get a very small piece of tape and just <coughs> tape those together. Bear with me one second as I rig my connection here. So I'm just going to tape this so that it doesn't keep, doesn't allow them to angle in and touch each other, okay? Whatever. So there's my 5 volt. Either way, I will, this is all I need for this to work, okay? All right, now I'm going to power on my uh, transmitter, and I'm going to zoom out of this. Oh my God, I didn't know I was so zoomed in. Okay, so once you get into here, okay, we've got okay. our new model oh. called R9 Demo. Press your menu key. You're going to see R9 Demo selected. Press page. Oh, and what I'm going to do, by the way, is I'm going to check it's number 38, because that's what I'm going to make my receiver if I have the option to. I'm going to click page. I'm going to scroll backwards. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our mode. And, uh, sorry, we're going to go to our mode, and we're going to turn off. Uh, oh my God, where did I go here? I, I uh, turned this too far, sorry. Um, okay, so if you leave internal on, you will not get the telemetry option uh, on your other one. So let me show you. So if you go to external and you click it and you turn it to R9M, right? Uh, when you go to bind, and I'm just gonna do this real quickly, you do not get, it says telemetry off, right? So you want telemetry. So to do that, uh, you need to go back and you need to turn off the internal. All right, so on internal, click it on D16 and just turn it to where it says off. Now, when you go to your uh, binding, you can actually bind in telemetry, but I'm gonna change my number to 38 because that's the number that I've got on here. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off my uh, receiver real quick because I have to put it in binding mode. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your receiver's off. All right, and it is, you can see the light's off now. I'm in, I've got number 38 selected. I'm gonna go to bind and now you'll see telemetry, telemetry is an option. Go to channel 9 through 16, click it, and you're going to hear it. All right, now, as it's chirping, hold down your bind button on your receiver, flip your power source on, and you're going to see automatically now you have two lights. You have a green light, which I hope you can see that. Let me see if I can bring that closer to you. You have a green light, and you have a very rapidly, which the camera's not picking up, but you have a rapidly blinking red light. That means you're bound. Okay, at this point, hit your enter key on your controller. Press that, let me zoom back out here real quick. Okay, and then exit all the way out to your main screen. Okay, now <clears throat> turn off your receiver. Wait for the power to go out. It's off. Now turn it back on. And you're gonna have a rap rapidly yellow, uh, red blinking light and then it's gonna go green. And all of a sudden you've got telemetry now and you've got, you're, you're now bound to your R9 uh, <clears throat> your R9MM uh, module. I need to bring my subject back in. Okay, so, and that's it. Uh, that pretty much does it. So, so far it does look like the one file system does work. Uh, that would be pretty cool if it does stay that way. Um, and so make sure to download those files uh, from the, uh, uh, from my website there if you go to the forum. If you have any questions, you hit me up. I do want to check something out though when I turn this off. Uh, we should automatically go to red. And we're waiting, we're waiting. Okay, it goes to red. Now I'm gonna turn it back on and I wanna see something Welcome here. To order TX. Okay, Micro mode on. everything looks good there. It should bind here in a second, it does. And now we have our, uh, our uh, RSSI bars. There, for some reason, it doesn't show up immediately when you bind. And so it's better to turn the controller off or the or transmitter off and turn it back on. And then I always seem to get those. But there you go, so you're done, guys. All right, so I hope that that helps. Uh, the idea is to make this easier uh, and hopefully these things help. So this is going to be the new updated version of how to do this. And that's it. Good luck to you. If you have any questions, hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com. Please do me a favor and make sure to like, ah, see I'm using that. Make sure to like our Cyclone FPV um, channel, by, uh, please. And then also follow us on Facebook. And do I have any other buttons that blink? Nope, I'm making all this go screwy. All right, I think that's it. Peace out. God bless. Stay flying and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.